Ladies and gentlemen, today is the first PvP update in a very long time. Basically, the update comes down to four new weapons added into the game. But today, we are going to be focusing on the Urine Chain Mace. To get the new mace, you have to buy the Claws of Callisto and use them on the Vigora's Chain Mace. Doing so will give you essentially what is the buffed version of the Vigora's Chain Mace, where you get additional attack bonus, strength bonus, and a special attack bar. Now, in order to test this out properly, we are going to go PvMing with this thing for about an hour and see how much money we can make in the Rev Caves. And once we've done that, we are going to go PKing with it. That Way we can see it both as a PVMing weapon and as a PKing weapon. Oh my 73, yes sir. This is ridiculous. It's been 15 minutes and I'm already up 2 mil. Just in shitty items. That's first trip done. 50 kills. Oh, there's my max 76. So in this gear I can hit 76s. It'll be interesting to see what I can hit once I kill the boss. I was a little bit silly with this one, I have no super stores left, but 100 kills in the bag. I had no super. <laughs> I just got 100 kills and I had no super restores left. Gonna PK and logged in. That could have been awkward. <laughs> I've been scouted. I'm just gonna stay so I can have an escape clip. Oh, PK. Let's go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he smacked zeros. It's gonna be the easiest escape of my life, I think. I'll just get the rest of my loot. Fucker. Nope, good fight. Bro, escaping is so freaking easy, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, the guy's name is Vagina Blood. Ah, shit. Nice try, bro. Too easy to escape. I want to fight him. Oh, he's running from me. <laughs> I don't even peek egg yet. Oh, the sword isn't on the tracker. Oh shit, that was a massive hit. Yeah, I might even just bring PK gear. <laughs> and whoever hits me, I just fight them. Okay, we have 30-ish left to kill. Not too long. Now we actually bring some PK gear as well. Because I keep getting hit. And I want to be able to fight back. Oh. Where are you going, kid? <laughs> Bro. Splash City, fucking hell. And he's out. Alright, well, I need two more kills. I'm just gonna go up and get two more kills. Someone else, you fucking serious? Alright, we're done. 200 kills in the bag. So 200 kills, we made roughly 11 mil and it's just over an hour, like 67, 68 minutes. So it's probably like 10 to 15 mil per hour if you include the red drops and also include me not wasting time PKing. So that's one hour of PVM done. Now we are gonna do one hour of PKing. This is where the special attack shines because it literally turns off my opponent's run energy, forcing them to walk. So if I time it correctly with freezes, they should not be able to move very far. He's fooled. Goodbye, run energy. He's not even gonna try and run, he's gonna stand there and take it. Respect it. Forty-two to the head. First kill, good fight. 162k. Look at him walk in again. <laughs> it's actually a lot better than I expected it to be, not gonna lie. Like it makes PVMers, it makes it so much harder for PVMers to escape. He's venomed. And he's dead. Loot is a little bit better, 500k. Three attempts, three kills, pretty good so far. Oh my god, we got a five with a PK, let's go. He 
these fools. Oh, 47 bolt KO. A few moments later. No. <laughs> Hello. Awkward timing for you. Zia. He is out. I think those fours are going to kill him. <laughs> Good fire, bro. Logged in at the worst possible time. 3.4 million GP from the PK. And then we get 300k from the PBM. So i for a little bit more, but that's all right. running for you buddy and he's dead Kafasa, 500k thank you this should technically work better in north caves because they have such a long way to run so here i spec as he's unfrozen and it breaks it and then i just refreeze two minutes to do like 300 ish damage doable just gonna get lucky hit through the stupid shield Okay, we're going to spec here. Runs out of run. Bro, that actually works so good. Holy shit. I didn't realize. The only negative is it's not the highest DPS. You need like a Bofa or something. One more hit. It's over. GG. Yeah, I think that's the play. Go deep wild. Slow them down up until they get to level 30. And then TB them on the line. So like you TB them last possible second. Okay, the loot, by the way, is 400k. I'm going to add a weapon to this inventory setup there. Something that I know is going to make this a thousand times better. We got it. It is the Fang. So this thing's damage is so consistent and so strong. And I think that coupled with the urine chain mace should be really, really good. this I'm just gonna do this until he prays something else now we fool him you see what i'm saying now we just poke him to death just just finish it mr sword thank you you see what i'm saying that seems to work so freaking well like the insane dps on this sword coupled with the ability to like stop them from running around and if i wanted to make this even more insane i could even bring a bofa which would be absolutely insane then there's like zero chance that they're dying but i think this is fine for now roughly 3.1 million gp loot very very nice and we're also roughly at the 30 minute mark and we have so far pk'd eight people for a total of 8.02 mil He's dead there. Nice. So this thing 1000% got me the kill there. Like if I didn't add it, he just runs straight through multi and I don't think it's worth going to multi with this risk. On top of that, I think we're on nine attempts and nine kills with this thing. And our RNG hasn't even been that good. It's been kind of average. 620k. Yes, sir. goodness massive ko that is 10 out of 10 600k thank you gg run energy melee him again oh my god oh what the fuck is he doing bro no way he's that stupid smited Bro, what is this guy doing? Well, 11 out of 11. <laughs> Hopefully we smited him for something good. He was on skull though. It's 830k. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> Look at him walking. He didn't even get like to run two tiles away. Through prayer. Oh, I think we smited him too. Unskulled though. There's so many unskulled people on today. Like usually there's a lot more skull people. Total loot. 720k. Thank you. Get rid of his run. You suck there. <laughs> True. 300k. About 10 minutes left. GG run energy. 
insta refreeze. Bro, he walked like two tiles. Uh, he's running into multi. Uh, I've got to follow him. Only because it's Australian world and I know there aren't a lot of Australian people on. On the run. On the walk, rather. And he's dead. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, we're at 55 minutes. I think we have time for maybe one more kill. Um, we'll see. Yes, uh, 1.9 mil. Very, very nice. Oh, the perfect target to finish off the thing. Oh, no. I misclicked. Fuck. I think not touching the game for two and a half months has uh, made me a little bit rusty. So with the urine chain mace, we managed to PK roughly 17 to 20 million GP. It says 12.6 mil here, but the cash is broken. Obviously we've PK'd a lot more than one mil. Now the fact that both methods are between 10 to 20 mil per hour GP is absolutely insane because that is it for the video. First PVP update in a long time and I am happy with it. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the vid and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bro, I bought the claws for 30 mil and sold it for 71 mil. What the fuck?